Hey there YouTuber. So in this video I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS on the MSI Pro Z690A motherboard. You know, um, I actually have two of these. One of them, the button uh, didn't work, so we never made a video about it. I should have noted in my other BIOS video uh, that this method does exist for it. So what is this method useful for? One, um, if you are buying this motherboard now, it's it's December 1st, 2022, it most likely has an out-of-date BIOS on it. So you'll want to update that BIOS before you put, uh, say, a 13th gen CPU in there. If you already have a 12th gen, uh, this may be a pain in the butt because you're supposed to uh, basically have this thing pretty much raw, right? Uh, only a 24-pin PSU connector connected to it. But we'll get into those details here. So searching for this Z690A D4. If you have the D5, um, basically just switch this out for D5 and, and follow along. I may redo the video uh, for D5 just to have it specific. But um, we want this link right here. All right. And we want to click on support right here. Not this one but that one. That leads us to this, okay? A um, couple things in here before we actually download the BIOS. You've got your uh, compatibility here. So if you're curious as far as uh, what BIOS for, um, what the BIOS is needed for each one of these CPUs, um, this over here, You'll see the 12th gen is a lower number than 13th gen over here. Uh, of course, you know, if you're buying this motherboard, make sure you have compatible RAM. This could be one of your, uh, one problem you may uh, get in the future. All right. Now, before we download our BIOS, in case you don't like listening to me and you want to actually uh, follow along with uh, written instruction, you can click right here on manual document. Uh, click that, and then that will bring up this document, and you'll want to flip to page 30. And let's see, where is this? There we go. And follow this, updating BIOS with flash BIOS button, okay? So you would do all that's listed in here. Um, and so let's uh, let's take a look at that, all right? All right, so our BIOS file is going to eventually end up on a thumb drive. Now, you want to have a thumb drive that you can format to FAT32, okay? You see it says File System FAT32. I right-clicked on Properties. I right-clicked. Let's just redo it. Right-click, and then that brought this up, okay? So if you have a USB 3.0 drive, you may not be able to format this correctly, um, but you'll find that out when you go to select format. All right, so you, I have a USB 2.0, this is 128 gig 2.0, and it is formatted to FAT32. Now, next thing we need to do, we're gonna have to rename our BIOS, okay? So, um, <clears throat> after we download this, so let's go ahead and do that step. So it says drivers, downloads, we'll go back to that. Actually, at this point, folks, let's start all over again because we have, we've jumped around a bunch, right? I want to make sure you guys know exactly how to get there. So we've searched for it. We click on this link. We get in here. We click on support. Drivers, downloads, and then BIOS, okay? You see all the BIOS listed here, and this is the new, the original, okay, 2021, September. So you want to read through all these. Hey, is this worth my time to do? Um, well, obviously, if you want to put 13th gen on this motherboard and you're around December 2022, you're going to need to do it. So... 
in here this BIOS is the one that updated for next gen okay but we don't want this one we want the most up to date because these are cumulative so we're going to click download and hopefully that downloaded let's try that again there we go then I'm going to uh, show in folder okay and so this ends up in your um, downloads okay right here I want to extract all and then I'm going to go in here and this is our BIOS file right here okay and we have to rename this so the instructions folks it's good that we had the instructions up say to make that say MSI ROM all right So we go back here, sorry. Every, you know, I, I keep redoing these and they're all um, different, all right? So that's what you wanna rename this to, yes. Now I'm gonna copy that and put that in here, all right? So copy Control C and Control V to paste onto here. Now, this is different from some of the other ones I've done. This actually says connect your CPU power and your ATX. This is the 24 pin. We'll do that in the video. Normally I don't have to do this. Um, the fact that it says in the instructions, maybe, you know, in this case it has to be done. So eventually we'll jump over to our uh, motherboard to do this. But um, just so you guys can see. Oops, sorry. I think somewhere in here they provide a side shot to this thing. Hopefully, here we go. This is the button we're going to hit in a little bit, okay? The video, I will actually walk you through it. Um, so you'll power this thing up first, all right? Then you'll put the thumb drive in the flash BIOS port. So we have to figure that out next, okay? Then you'll hit that flash BIOS button. So before we do that, folks, we have to figure out which port's which. And I've done so many of these that uh, every one of them's different. There's your flash BIOS button. And guess what? It doesn't tell you. Yeah, it does flash BIOS port right there. So it's going to be this bottom one, okay? So if we look at the picture again, you're looking at this one right here, okay? There's your button and that. So from here, let's go to the actual uh, BIOS update video that I prepared for you all. Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so in this video, I'm going to update this MSI motherboard. A um, couple things, this, this was damaged. I just took off a CPU frame and <laughs> I'm actually looking for the four screw, but try to ignore that part. All right. So we've got our motherboard and according to the directions, we need to plug in the 24 pin power connector. So we'll do that up here. All right. And then the directions also say to plug in CPU power connector. Um, there will obviously, well, excuse me, there is no, uh, CPU, or excuse me, no graphics card and no CPU installed. Okay. So here's the, uh, CPU connector and that goes in just north of the, uh, where the CPU is. Where did this thing go in? Nice. Oh, and only one way. And for whatever reason, I'm having more difficulty than I should. Almost makes you feel like we might have the wrong cord. Um, there we go, finally. 
All right, so you will uh, turn this switch to on and then plug that in, all right? Now, once you do that, here is where our USB plugs in at. That'll go in that spot. That's the dedicated one. And then we'll press this button in. Okay. And that should flash for um, six to eight minutes. Now we saw that the power supply just came on. Another light came on back there. And so I've done these BIOS updates with Gigabyte and what else did we do? An ASRock. They all have been different. Um, and a lot of things have been the same, right? So you have the button. Most of the time it's on the motherboard. So in a few cases it's been where your I.O. shield is. And you always have a dedicated USB for the BIOS update. Some of them the power supply is turned on. Some of them it has not. Um, some of them there's been only one light that flashes. And in this case we have a second light. So if I remember correctly, this is the, oh there it is, this is the MSI Pro Z690A DDR4 motherboard. We also, while that's flashing, I'm going to do a video for the, uh, the Wi-Fi one. I pulled the Wi-Fi card out, but um, that is, you know, what we'll do after this. Um, make sure that one's up to date as well. Now, funny enough, because I have these two motherboards, and they're almost identical, except for what one thing, one has Wi-Fi and one doesn't, um, this BIOS will not work with the other one. So, folks, make sure that you download the correct BIOS. Otherwise, you'll be uh, out of luck. So I'm going to pause this. Um, this should be done in a few minutes. And when it's done, I will uh, hopefully at least pick up the camera so you can see the very end of it. You know, it probably shouldn't matter, but probably not a good idea to have other devices plugged into this, like my... What is this? All right, so we should get be getting pretty close. I had enough time to eat a sandwich. Um... If that light stays uh, lit, a lot of times that means, you know, it's not working, at least with the other motherboards. MSI didn't provide a whole lot of troubleshooting information. But, uh, you know, this has been pretty smooth. And I almost feel like, you know, whenever I get a new motherboard, the first thing to do is, is check to see if it has the ability to have the BIOS updated like this. And do that before I bother updating, or excuse me, not updating, but uh, before I install the CPU to go ahead and install that new BIOS version. So I said we were almost done. Now, one thing to note um, that we hadn't talked about. The more revisions there are for this thing, the longer it's probably going to take. So early on, it should take about six minutes. Later, when there's a lot more revisions, you're talking eight minutes. Now, we also didn't talk about, you know, before you do this, the weather. Try and do this when the weather's good. Oh, it stopped blinking. Yeah, for a moment, did. So it stopped blinking. For a moment, the power supply shut off. And so we're going to hang with it a couple more minutes. It should have completely shut off. 
Um, if it was like the other ones. So it did stop blinking. Most likely this is complete. I will not release this video, folks, unless I have an updated BIOS. So um, I'm going to pause this and we'll see if this shuts off. All right, folks, so um, this is the first time, like I said, I've updated this MSI Pro motherboard this way. And uh, you can see power supply is still on, that light's still on. It's been uh, way too long for this to not shut off automatically. So I would uh, say the BIOS update's been done once the lights have stopped flashing and we're good to uh, install CPU. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.